And uh, much more than just a plain sugar cookie, we're learning simple decorating techniques to make your cookies the sweet hit at a holiday party. He's on the other side of that one. Midday Fix, we're making some cookies with author Julie Usher, and gorgeous cookies they are. I mean, really, almost, really, Julie, too pretty to eat, but I'm willing to give it a shot. How do you do this? Great. Well, what I'm going to do is talk about some cookie decorating techniques, one in particular that's very easy that comes from my new book, Cookie Swap. Okay. Um, even if you're not a skilled artist, this should be something that you can, you can do easily at home. So what I'd like to do today is try to replicate the stenciled cookie, okay. which makes a nice ornament for the holidays. Okay. First step is to take pre-baked sugar cookie. Sure. Any recipe will do, but I've got a lovely one that was my mom's heirloom recipe. Oh, in the really? Book. That looks really good. That looks like a good sugar and cookie. The first step, and if you want to work along with me, okay, sure. feel free. Okay. I'm working with a craft paintbrush that's got the bristle end broken off. So the good news about my techniques is you don't require a lot of fancy tools to get the job done. All right. Um, and what I'm doing right now is top coating with royal icing. We're just going to give it a stir because royal icing has egg whites in it, pasteurized egg whites, which cause it to dry really quickly, which okay. means you also have to keep it covered when you're not working with it. All right. So I'm top coating it. The first step is to create the smooth top coat underneath. And I do that by dabbing about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of icing in the middle and then just scooching it around. I know okay. that's not a technical word, but I think it fairly well describes it works. what I I'm doing. I think I got what, you, what you're talking about And here. so that would be first step, and we can complete this cookie. Where did you learn this process of you know, decorating? You know, on the job. I hate to admit it, I mean, I know but you, after you I had a bakery. You got an MBA and all this I, Well, I had stuff. a bakery also for seven years, and I spent a lot of time cookie decorating, making cookies for brides in the, in the bakery. So a lot was learned there, I, I should say. So my top coat's done. <laughs> Mine, And that's what it should look it. like. And that's really, that's pretty. The next step requires applying the stencil, um, okay. and that requires a dry cop top coat. So I've got a cookie that's dried overnight. Ideally, you want to dry it about eight hours. Um, All right. Oh, okay. So this is this really a the process. Way. A little bit, but the good thing is you've got some downtime in between, so you can be baking other cookies like the ginger snap thumbprints that okay, I've got. Okay, there's the mine. End. Looking good. Okay. Okay. Now I've got a thicker royal icing. I've got some green mixed in it. I like to work with a gel paste food coloring because it's highly concentrated and doesn't affect the consistency of the icing. We've got a stencil here. You can mm -hmm. find these in home decor stores. Sure, online. Michael's, Michael's exactly. Art Supply, yeah. I'm just gonna locate that on the cookie. This is why the cookie needs to be dry, because you're actually gonna be applying some pressure. And I'm just gonna put a smear of green icing as thin as I can through the stencil. You want it a little bit thicker so it doesn't flow under the stencil and create a blurred pattern. And I do liken this to a game of twister because you often have to get into and behind the cookie to completely cover the stencil. I'm done. Just pull it off really quickly. Yeah. Can I try one of those? Yeah, it doesn't look do. so hard. Just move to the other end of the stencil sure, so you okay. don't mess that up. I'll move the icing on over. It doesn't look too bad. No, no it's very easy. I do this to show people at home that if I can do it, anybody can. And do I actually it. paint with the back of the stencil just a teeny bit and hold that really steady. Okay. Because if you move it, you'll blur your image. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. You do have yeah, to you've be got a lot on there. Steady. You could even scrape some of that excess off to the side. Oh, could I? Okay. There you go. Like that? Yeah, perfect. I know this is real pitiful. That's looking good. Beautiful. Okay, let's okay, see how it... Quickly is best. Well, it's not as pretty as hers, but well, hey, it was my first shot. One more attempt and you'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, last step. If you feel so inclined, not necessary. Well, no, I want to try. Is painting with a little bit of luster dust. That's what that gold sheen is on the cookie. Yeah. And luster dust is nothing but a little bit of mica ground up with some gold food coloring. Okay. Do you paint as well, actually paint? You paint it on. Are you an artist? I've got a little bit of, I'm not. Um, okay. This is pretty basic stuff, as I said. You extend this dust with a little bit of extract and stir it up with a paintbrush. Okay, where should I put this? Oh, sorry. That's I okay. Just stick that over here. I'll put that there. And then you want to paint this on a relatively dry stencil. You can paint it directly on the cookie too, but I'm going to put it right on top of the stencil pattern. Teeny tiny brush and just accent, yeah. accent this up here. I don't now, want to let me ask all. you real quick, what's a cookie swap? A cookie swap is when everybody brings in their favorite recipe uh -huh. to a party. The beauty of it is that everybody shares in the cost and baking burden because people are all bringing in cookies. So you walk away with a lot more variety. Then everybody swaps. So you walk away with a lot more variety than what you actually brought, which saves in the preparation. Okay, Julie, listen, thank you for all these ideas and these gorgeous cookies. Julie's in Chicago for several appearances. The next one is tomorrow night at the bookseller in Lincoln Square starting at 7 o'clock. Yes, for more to. information on her other appearances, check out our midday website. Thank you. Thanks, and happy holidays. Same to you.